Big thank you to today's sponsor, 10 Times. Use the promo code PAGE15 on your next order to get 15% off. Again, big thank you to today's sponsor, 10 Times. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kentucky Outdoors uh, for another product review. Uh, if you're like me, you've probably been seeing the product called Tidewee all over your Facebook, all over Instagram. Uh, and I'm sure probably all over TikTok as well. Uh, now, in seeing this product name, most of what I've seen is ground blinds, uh, waders, boots, uh, a few things like that. I think a heated vest and some other products. But since I'm a big ground blind hunter, one of the things that caught my attention was their tide weave four to six man ground blind. Now, my favorite hunting blind has to be Rhino. Uh, I like the Rhino 180s because of the fact that they're, they're see-through, 180 degrees. Tidewee has over, it's a, I believe a 270 degree see-through blind. Uh, the four and six man blind, which is what this is, it's two blinds put together. Now, I believe they're normally 400 some odd dollars, but they have them marked down to 220, I believe. Now there's a promo code I'll put in the video as well. And uh, from another channel where I've seen someone do a, a review over these, he has a uh, promo code where you can get so much percentage off. I believe I paid $191.91 for these. Now, if you use something like the Rhino blinds, the Rhino 180s, they are, I believe, $150 per ground blind. That'd be $300 if you bought two blinds, which these are very lightweight. Uh, got them pretty fast. Got them in, I believe, four days, four business days. I uh, ordered them on a Friday. I believe it was and uh no i'm sorry ordered on saturday got on wednesday so we're gonna pop these out of the bag they've not been out of the bag yet i just now got them out of the box and brought them down here so i'm gonna try to set it up see what it looks like we'll clear out this area a little bit and uh hopefully i'm not disappointed So here they are set up. Uh, they're about the regular height, I guess what you'd call a regular height to most ground blinds. Uh, you stand there on the outside of it. The only thing that I can actually see into is where the windows are open on the back side. But besides that, uh, I can't see into it. I mean, for $200, you're getting two blinds. Uh, to me, that seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, most blinds today, I haven't bought a blind in a while. I would say run the Rhino 180s, run 150 to $200 a piece. This here, you're getting two, technically three uh, different blinds because the sides that come out, over here to actually connect them together and make one big blind. You can actually use those for a, another blind in itself. 
But uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hop in here and adjust everything, and I'm gonna see uh, just how well, if at all, if you can see through it on the camera. So uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, I'm gonna predict that the camera can't see me or what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now because I just took off my hat and what I am putting on what I normally wear in the blind try to blend in with a black background but I'll show the specs I have some of the things with it here in a moment so you can see my camera pretty clear you should see everything pretty clear actually Lower this down a little bit. All right. So we're gonna see how that looks on camera from y'all's point of view. Hope y'all can't see me. It's kind of the whole point of this blind. Uh, I don't feel any air coming through. There is a little bit of a breeze, but uh, so far there's no wind coming in here. Now it is kind of small on the inside, a little bit smaller than what I thought it would be, but uh, I didn't buy it for the single blind purpose. I bought them literally to put them together. So uh, I'll bring the camera inside and show you what it looks like on the inside. All right, so we're inside the blind. Uh, it's about as tall as most blinds are. Uh, seems a little bit smaller on the inside. Here, I'll flip the camera around. Seems a little bit smaller on the inside than most blinds I've used. But again, I intend on putting them together. Now, here's what it looks like from the inside of it. All the way down to the floor. Now, one thing that I do like is right here, make it very easy. Here, I'll zoom out a little bit. Make it easy to open your windows. If you need to slide your right barrel of your rifle out or you know, if you're using a bow, no zipper noise no velcro noise or what have you lower it down for bow shot i'm not exactly sure how high these here will go this here it is kind of a rough material it doesn't fold very easily but, uh, Be so you could probably use a bow out of this. Now, one thing that I do not like, uh, this is just me personally, is the zipper. Now, like I'd mentioned earlier, I prefer rhinos. Rhinos have a clasp they'll click on to your uh, rail. That way there's no zipper noise. That will literally, if anything, be my only complaint thus far. But we're gonna put these two together. See just how big it is on the inside and see if it's what I really hoped it was. So far, I'm fairly impressed with it. Can't complain with the price. Two blinds, 200 bucks. So let's see what it looks like. This thing is a little difficult to zip up, but I've done it in probably maybe three or four minutes. Uh, I didn't care a whole lot for the space inside of one of them. I do like a little bit more room, but it's kind of why I bought the four to six man blind because I like a little bit more room. But now, 
this thing now, I mean, it is massive. You could, you know, if you pack a lot of gear for some odd reason, whether it's self-filming equipment or, I mean, you could even probably take you a good long nap in this thing. I'm five foot five, and I believe this is almost 11 feet wide, if I have read the dimensions correctly. But, uh, so far, literally the, literally, the only complaint I had was the... Uh, zipper noise but I mean you get out here an hour hour and a half before dark it's not really gonna matter those deer are gonna be settled down calmed down by then uh, 200 bucks for two blinds technically three I'll show you the uh, these are actually made where you can zip them together Zip together at this point, but now yeah, you could zip these together and make you a really lightweight portable blind for say turkey season, or I mean if you're wanting to run and gun for deer season, well this one here would work as well. You just slide these up, make an easy shot. Uh, I'm sure you can probably see through here right now I'm not sure uh, if you can see through it or not but I know getting down behind it I can see it with no problem uh, so tied we hunt at least the hunting blinds what would I place them as I would say definitely price 10 out of 10 usability 10 out of 10 Would I recommend these? I would definitely recommend these to anybody that was, you know, that's like me, they're scared of heights, they'd rather be in a ground blind instead of a deer stand. I, I would definitely go with these here. I think there is one tied weed blind that's a little bit bigger than this one. All right, here, let me get the camera here and I'll show you just how. Sorry, get my big thumb out of the way here. See just how big this thing is on the inside. Now it's definitely a good size. You've got an entry door from one way and the other way, but plenty of room for all of your equipment. Tide weight, 10 out of 10. Absolutely, I haven't used this blind up uh, yet. Of course, you just seen me set it up. So I am actually, I'm gonna stake this thing down. I'm gonna go back home, wait for a little while. I'm gonna come back, hopefully for an afternoon gun hunt. Uh, put it to where I can got a good view down this uh, funnel right here in bottleneck and uh, up into the field that goes into our oak flat where I normally hunt at. But, so, sorry for the long review. Uh, now I got to do one on blinds. Another thing does have straps on the top for you to put vegetation especially in early season and let's see, definitely around the top i don't know if i don't see any on the bottom oh wait there is some right here in the middle that you can put vegetation on sticks limbs cedar whatever it is you want to put just to help your blind blend in a little bit so I will put a link in the description for them. And also, like at the beginning of the video, uh, I'll put a link in the description for uh, our sponsor for today, uh, 10 Tines. Uh, they've got a product called Deer Crack. I've done a review for it once already. Uh, I'll post that. And also at the beginning of the video, if you remember, there is a code on there to get a percentage off. So we all trying to save some money. Might as well save some money while we're uh, getting stuff to use for deer season. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to get out here and bring my chair in here and set it up. And we'll see if we can't kill something out of here this week or this evening. All right, guys. So, all right. Thank y'all. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, that whole thing. 
Uh, I believe we're up to, last time I checked, 94 subscribers. Honestly, that's a lot more than what I thought I'd ever get. I thought it'd be like, no, 15, 20. So I'm really excited about that. So, Tied We, go check them out. I'll post their link uh, to their website in the description. Like I said, guys, y'all hunt hard, stay safe, and uh, good luck this year.